So to set up an HDR environment in Blender and Octane, first we're going to want to set our render engine to Octane, obviously. And then we're going to just add a circle, you know, a, a marble. And then I like to add a metallic texture for this kind of stuff, especially it just, um, it, you know, you know it's working and everything. Then you need to perform the window creation ritual by clicking and dragging on the top right of the viewport so you can open the shader editor and then select world from the second drop down to access the world shader settings. Then put your mouse somewhere in the empty space and then press shift and then A at the same time and then add a texture environment node. Now all you have to do is find your HDRI in your file system, whatever operating system you might be running, and then drag and drop it into Blender. Then plug that into the texture environment node, and then plug the texture environment node into the Octane visible environment slot at the end. And then check those little check boxes that say visible on environment, backplate, reflection, all those. Just check all three of them, I think, and then, you know, I, I think, you know, it just looks like it works, and it does, and that's it. And if you don't know, to move the sun around, you just have to adjust the latitude and longitude settings right here. I don't know why you just can't rotate the sun around, but, you know, at least there's that way. And then lastly, of course, I, I'm not sure if there's another way to actually turn the HDR besides this but you can add what's called the full transform node because it's the only thing that was really working for me just shift a and then find the full transform and then slide the transition values and it should actually move it around so if there's another way feel free to comment and thanks for watching that's actually just about everything on basic the basic hdr that I, at least i could find so hopefully that helps. See you around.